There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. a new materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Again. 
It even says so on the car. Oh, don't be an idiot. The angel would never stoop so low as to steal from children. I'm telling you, I saw the real culprits. You're saying they're... Oh, so you're the new Merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations found for the Leaf House. The fiends! The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folky, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the Angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. Angel strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake card. Too easy. Sucks to be you, Miss Angel, but we're stealing your name. Hey, it's you! What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Oh, my dead! My dead! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey, wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a druple? What are we doing? Huh? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! <laughs> honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the mask. 
These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should've listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square, once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the darn stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. I wonder if I'm an accomplice. On that Thanks bony for coming, frame of yours. And welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichold left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying a month. people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madame Mims. Almost done. You wanna go, do ya? All right then, bring it on! Bring 
bringing everything I've got. You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all. Your form's looking good! That's how great faith in you guys! Not bad at all. You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Your form's looking good! You've got this, come on! Not looking good! Let me see you sweat! I knew you could do it! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! Your form's looking good! You two are doing awesome! You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! Oh, you've got more to get! Not bad at all! You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Your form's looking good! Yeah! Feel the burn! That's how it's done! You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! That's how I have faith in you guys! Not bad at all! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! You two are doing it! Awesome! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! That's come on! I know you've got more to get! You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! No! You did it! You really beat me! You gotta be in incredible shape! <laughs> it's unfair that you guys are having all the fun. What do you say? May I have this squat? <laughs> you up for some exercise? I won't go easy on you. Who'd have thought it'd be this close? How much training do you do? Woo! Oh, it's slow and steady. One, two, I believe in you! Two! You're better than I thought. You are in the zone! How much training do you do? Oh man, who's gonna win this one? Who the hell be this close? I believe in you! Poetry in motion! Yeah, Jules! Show that city how it's done! Better than I thought! Woo! So much training to you! Poetry in motion! You can do it, Jules! We're rooting for you! You're better than I You are in the... I believe in you! I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! Poetry in motion! I can hear your muscles crying out! Woo! I believe in you! You can do it, Jules! We're rooting yeah, for you! You are in! Yeah. I think you got that wimp now, Jules! I believe in you! Who the fuck? Nothing to it. I had no idea how strong you really were. You truly are something, aren't you? Listen up, everyone. We can be stronger, better. Let's hit those weights. You got it, Jules! <laughs> what happened with you? Aren't you a curious cat? 
Walk in dark alleys. You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with you. <laughs> My, the lovely weather we're having. Huh? They're ripping off you and me and everybody else. Ugh. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madam M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP! Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite of the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! Get ready. take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. You're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman or two, I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor.
ね。Think you're too good for my spot? But I think this is where they sit to me. No! Cloud, finally. Tifa, she, I, Tifa. She, she's. I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon, and Tifa's, Tifa's gonna be. I just, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud, bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said the way you fight your code is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, you know. I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stand-up guy like myself? Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Go on, get out of here. This is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? 
No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite a pretty little lady. She's not bad at all. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a B, and of course, that dress was completely overshadowed. You like the beautiful flowers. Smooth, time to go. This is it. Your destination. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? So, you a topsider? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is. The man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here, come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. Ooh, the show's <laughs> about to start. <laughs> My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. <laughs> Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a tree. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. <laughs> you seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead?
I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of 